I knew it. What the? No, no. I'm done. No. <laughs> what is happening, everybody? How is everybody doing? Welcome back. I know I didn't have Lord on Monday. I know. Oh, woe is me. Uh, so, my, my partner and my wife uh, worked all weekend. So, I done the baby duties the whole time. So, uh, I never got any videos recorded or anything over the weekend. Uh, so, today was just a day of, you know, trying to catch up on sleep. All that jazz. But I decided, you know, I've got a little bit of spare time in the evening. I'm going to do a video. Oh, and it is absolutely roasting here. It, you know, Canada, 30 degrees. You, that, that doesn't go together. Like, what the hell? Come on, Canada. Figure it out. But yeah, oh, it's so warm here. So we're going to do a reaction video uh, for Nuke's Top 5. You released a video today. Uh, so this is Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos. I don't know how to do that face like a is that is that is that good enough? Uh, before we start the video, uh just if you've not been here before, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Uh after you've seen this video. Like I don't want you just you know, spamming that sub uh, subscribe button if you don't know what you're getting into. This video is is a lot of stuff. There's gonna be a lot of safe words needing to be used. All right, let's go in. Are you ready? Number five. Top five ghosts. Call on camera. All right, Nick, let's get into this. fail. Um, <laughs> Paranormal investigator right. Mark from the YouTube channel Donnie Drunkard believes his home Donnie in Canada Drunkard. is haunted by a very dark entity that attaches itself to him after one of his many paranormal investigations. Where in Canada? He's seen and recorded unexplained shadow figures and terrifying poltergeist. Did everyone just see that? There was just a black sheet flying through the air, right? Also, where in Canada? I'd like, I want to know activity that has terrorized both Mark and his cute little dog, Terry. <laughs> During two of his live streams, Terrorizing he the SLS camera towards the storage closet in his basement. Okay. Somebody doing a wee jig in there? Look at this. I didn't see that. I just saw a shadow coming out and going back in again. But before that, I saw that this little thing just... Giving it fucking big licks. Ghost is having a rave. This is Shadow. Could that Shadow be coming from behind him? Yeah, I got him. Hey, oh, oh. Yeah, I got him. Hey, oh. My dude, what the hell have you got going on in your house? Oh you get bin bags flying around. Now, these videos might have seemed familiar to you, and that's yeah. because I featured Mark's story on my channel before. Since these terrifying events, the supernatural okay. activity in his home hasn't decreased one bit. Well, no so shit. So in his recent YouTube live stream, Mark decides to do what is called, quote, the Roman exorcism ritual. He recites prayer. So what you're saying now, because this guy is going to pick up a holy book, which he probably doesn't believe in, and try and recite it. And it's not going to do anything. Is he going to say it in Latin? Because if he doesn't say it in Latin, then it just doesn't, what's the point? Right? You have to say this shit in Latin. I think the I think the exorcist proved that. Airs from a book in an attempt to cleanse his home of the evil entity that but won't if you, leave him. If one, if you don't believe it, there's no point. Two, alone. if you're not a priest and you don't he have holy water. the entire exorcism live point? for his YouTube viewers to see. What's the point? It did not go well. Obviously, obviously. 
एक्सर्सिज्म एक्सर्सिज्म As soon as he said exorcism, the ghost is like, all right, okay, I'll see what you're doing over there. Okay. Ghost is probably sitting in that chair going, okay. Brought out a little, little magazine, reading it across his legs. Just chilling. Okay, let's see what you can do. All right. Bring it on, or whatever the equivalent of bring it on is in Latin. That's, That's okay. if it's a demon. I'm gonna keep going. Mark's rim pod goes off, but he doesn't think much of it. He continues to read prayers from the quote Roman ritual book. That's when things get downright. Chill. Why the Roman ritual book? Do you know? God of heaven and God of earth, God of the angels and God of the archangels, God of the patriarchs. As God, God is knocking for you. Eyes upstairs. Eyes upstairs. <laughs> this is fucking pizza delivery guy. Eyes upstairs. Eyes upstairs. Eyes upstairs. Okay. Eyes upstairs. What the f <laughs> Eyes upstairs. M mate, that's got a hood. That's a face. Did you see One that? One of Mark's static cameras captures what appears to be a pale translucent figure walking in front of his tele... It, it looks as it was walking, but it's like all fucking bent up. See that or it's got a hood? ...television nearby. Some of Mark's concerned live stream viewers believe the figure actually looks like a monk. But yeah. it's a bit hard to tell. Either a monk or but a nun. What do you think this sudden creepy appearance could be? Let me know down in the comments. Is that all that happened? You can follow Mark's continuing scary paranormal story in live is that, streams is that all? Just over a, on his just YouTube a channel, figure. Donnie Drunkard. You decide. Don't, don't tell me that's all that happened, Nuke. I was waiting for some fucking head turning shit. Okay. So this next set of videos features some very strange and creepy events. But okay. if you're okay, a skeptic, okay. they could also be explained away with some fairly mundane causes. However, the videos are all extremely bizarre. Extremely bizarre. So are these bizarre. videos paranormal? Or just, well, normal? Well, if you Let's they can be explained, then... You decide. TikTok user and mother of two, Jessica Duffy, okay. is not okay, actually right. very TikTok. active on TikTok. But there's one video taken by her ring security camera that she just had to post. There was one footage taken by her ring. A camera jammed up her ass. In the video, her two children can be seen joking about ghosts in the kitchen, quoting the Ghostbusters theme song. <laughs> now, I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> no wonder there's paranormal activity. The ghosts are fucking shit scared of these kids running around singing the theme song for Ghostbusters. They're like, oh no, not again. Oh, I don't want to go back into that fucking little box in the wall. With that fucking Slimer or whatever he's fucking the was. Ghostbusters theme song. Now, I'm not sure exactly <laughs> what started this odd conversation. Oh, that's brilliant. But it seems like the ghosts might be listening. The two kids experience something absolutely terrifying. I don't know what's happening. I ain't scared of no ghosts. You sure about that? It could have been a gust of wind. <laughs> nice one, Nick. Yeah. Top trolling right there. I ain't scared of no ghosts. Scared of ghosts. <laughs> Just such an asshole. <laughs> yeah. So the door slams. It could have been a gust of wind. Mainly because the <laughs> the plant started moving and everything else started kind of moving around it. So it seems to be like a gust of wind.
The ghost didn't want to be busted. Where's the mother in all this? The kids are crying. What are you doing? Well, when I said that the two kids experienced something absolutely terrifying, I meant terrifying for them. Yeah, it's a door slamming. Jessica Duffy does not claim in any way that this footage shows anything related to the paranormal. Oh, it's a gust of wind. It's very possible that this was simply a strong gust of wind that happened to blow the door shut at a comically perfect time. But that, that's... Or was it? That's an because understatement. only a few days later, something else happens that's a little harder to explain. Um. Um. You have piqued my interest. Is there smoke coming out of that light? It's some... What was that? What happened? What the hell was that? I didn't see in another freaky turn of events, Jessica's ceiling fan in the very same room has a strange electrical short. Yeah, that's what I thought. Causing loud popping. It was like, and I was like, what the fuck? But there's smoke coming out of the top of it. That that's dangerous. That could just be faulty wiring. You not only do you need to get the Ghostbusters in, but you need to get the fucking electric. English, David. The Sparky's in. You need to get the electrician busters in. Electrical discharges and even a bit of fire, in that bit, sending there? out a thick puff of smoke. The yeah, next and then day, just of course, the kids. Jessica calls in an electrician to prevent a dangerous house fire. Yeah, kids just walking now, in there. again, this might not be anything paranormal at all, but it's certainly a very strange phenomenon to occur just days after her children decided to taunt, quote, ghosts in the house. Or, you know, maybe it's just a very weird series of coincidences. It always happens if in threes. the of this story implies, you decide. It always happens in threes. I ain't scared of no ghosts. Oh, the ghost just said, uh, well, you might be scared of a door slamming. And how about an electrical fault? Do you want, do you want an electrical fault? Also, I'm guessing there is an infant. Like a, a newborn because of the, the carrier. So where's the newborn? Where's where's their parents and all this? Where's Jessica? In another Kid. strange and possibly paranormal video, an the anonymous urban cameraman. explorer from the YouTube channel The Unknown Cameraman is exploring an abandoned psychiatric hospital in New York when he and his Why is it always psychiatric hospitals that end up with all the, the crazy shit? No pun intended. I mean... I'm pretty sure there's a sanitarium Q Metallica. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a sanitarium somewhere uh, in Hamilton. I don't know if it's a working sanitarium or a in use sanitarium or if it's uh, derelict. But uh, yeah. I'm gonna go check that out. Channel, the unknown cameraman, is exploring an abandoned psychiatric hospital in New York when he and his friends hear the unexplained New sounds York. of something very odd I can't inside do that. the creepy old building. Can't do the accent. Alright, alright, what's inside the building? What are, you, what are you looking through? Oh, are we looking up the stairs? What? What are we listening to? What was that? Even though YouTuber the unknown cameraman is an urban explorer and not What was that noise? It sounded like it just sounded like uh, the wind going through something. It was like like it was like a dodgy fan or something. Listen. Like you know when you got a really strong gust of wind and you hear the moaning sounds? That's what it sounds like. But the fact that it stopped when he slammed the door? It stopped when I slammed. That's weird. 
even though YouTuber the unknown cameraman is an urban explorer and not a ghost hunter, okay. it's obvious that the event even freaks him out. Well, obviously. That freaked the shit out of me. Now, viewers of the Explorers channel have mixed ideas of what this strange sound could be. Some say it's roosting pigeons in the building. Could be. Some claim it's the whooshing sound. As Casper Sight would say, bloody pigeons. <laughs> it's, the, it's the damn pigeons. <laughs> I've got a feeling that if he uploads this video, then he probably will. I don't even know if he's uploaded this one yet. Strange sound could be. Some say it's roosting pigeons in the building. Some claim it's the whooshing sound of an odd vacuum created inside the closed off structure. But and why? others believe it might be something paranormal. Why would it be a... No one really seems to agree on just what a vacuum this cleaner. sound could who the, be. Who the fuck is trying but to clean a derelict is, building with a vacuum cleaner? Why does the cleaner? loud sound just suddenly stop? All at once. Because you startled whatever it was. Whatever this creepy sound is, it's definitely not something you want to hear while exploring an old abandoned mental asylum. No, it, it is not. Popular <laughs> streamer Brian from the Twitch channel. To be honest, any noise is a noise that you don't want to hear in an abandoned insane asylum. Like, any noise. Shuffling, a window opening, a door shutting, a gust of wind somebody's arse exploding because they're scared just pigeons you just don't maybe casper site was onto something well daily dasher travels the world and broadcasts his adventures live i see you casper site i see you to watch on twitch and one of his many six to eight hour i'm in on this uh, pigeon flight celebrating ah. his birthday in ah. ecuador during you think my mustache his viewers Ugh. are shocked when they see someone who seems very out of place. Well, the guy standing to the left. Why is there a kid? What? Uh. Who's 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 kid? He said that they closed at ten. And it seems like they're. That's what someone in the chat said. That the curfew is extended, but it's till ten. What's so that? Is that a like ghost girl? That words out of his mouth. There's still a curfew. Uh, what? Like seriously, what's with it? These might add up. Seriously, what the hell? No, 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 no. Go, go, go back, go back there, go back there. Go back there. They say what? Like, why is there a little girl there? And then you proceed to not even go up to her and speak to her, like to tap her on the shoulder to say, "Are you lost?" You're in a bar, you're alone, or do you have where's your parents? Nah, you just go to the other fucking window. Either one, because it's a fucking hoax. Or two You're fucking idiot. Go speak to the little girl to find out what's wrong with her. But you're just gonna go to the next window and, and leave us with this ghostly image. Ugh. Irresponsible adult. He said that right there. And it seems like there. That's what someone in the chat said. Uh, the curfew is extended, but it's till ten. My so ghost girl. We didn't get the exact words out of his mouth. There's still a curfew. It seems like these might add up. That's that sad, dude. Don't scare me like that. Oh my God, it's gone. Like, dude. <laughs> Seriously. Is she just walked off, or is that an actual? Oh, no. <laughs> Go looking Chad, for her. I don't like supernatural stuff. Why you guys said it's a ghost girl? Go. <laughs> it's gone. Go look for her, you dumbass. Go. I should have stayed home. We need to. We need to know. Is she real? <laughs> Stop looking at your at camera. First, Brian casually points out that there's a child standing at the balcony window. Oddly, the little girl is standing perfectly still. In fact, she is so still that viewers chatting in his live stream think that it might be a statue. That's true. Some even jokingly suggest that it's a little ghost girl. <laughs> so Brian pans his camera around and looks over. To his horror, he discovers that the little girl 
has mysteriously disappeared. There was a dude in there, right? There was another guy standing in the in the building. Go in and speak to him. Be like, was there a girl there? And if he says no, then exit via window. Just, just leave. <laughs> I would go there fucking rapid. Now, just like in the previous videos, I'm not necessarily saying that this is a paranormal no, event obviously not. on no, camera. No, no. It's, just, it's it very unsuspicious. It's a girl who doesn't move and appears to be completely unresponsive to her surroundings. Maybe she just ran off when Brian was distracted. Yeah, maybe. But Brian's reaction to the odd disappearance seems very sincere. He actually seems a bit shook. Is that fast food? Don't scare me like that. Oh my god, it's gone! Oh, <laughs> oh my no. god, it's gone! Chat, I don't like supernatural stuff. Why you guys said it's a ghost girl? <laughs> it's gone! <laughs> I Dude, that's creepy. That is creepy. That's legit, but like, creepy. As with the other videos, I leave it up to you to decide. I don't think I was paranormal. I think she just left. you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Something in the closet. Last week I Oh yeah, Mary Therese Pagai. Uh, whenever if you guys know anybody that has got paranormal activity or anything in, in their house, you can send them send it to Nuke. The the guy's great. Plus you'll sit down and you'll look through your video as well. Uh, you won't just post up and be like, Oh this is a video. You'll actually sit down and like enhance the quality of the video as well. He's great. Featured creepy footage of the terrifying haunting at the home of Mary Therese Pagai. Verify the client's identity and provide. Oh no, it's on. See, but I'm busy now. See now. See now. See now. Ignore it. Ignore it. Ignore it. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient. <laughs> <laughs> Together with her brother, Mary was recording a nursing instructional I, video. As I reacted to this one live on my Twitch channel. Suddenly, the two got this. Which I will leave here. Time. Since the horrifying events, Mary has been unable to sleep inside her own room. Yeah, no but wonder. After the overwhelming support of Nuke's top five viewers, she decided to set up a night vision CCTV camera to record any evidence that might explain the scary incident. All one right. Night, just after midnight, her camera captures something. Truly bizarre. Okay, is it just a... What? Where? A smoke. Somebody's smoking a cigarette. But now he's gonna blow the smoke away. Speed time six. Oh, the fan turned off. Okay, that's weird. An eerie smoke-like mist floats by and an electric fan in Mary's room turns on by itself. But there could be someone just off camera that sparked up a cigarette, they're having a dart, whatever, they're enjoying, you know, their little cigarette, their little nicotine buzz, a nicky break, and then they're like, oh shit, I fucking sparked up a fucking cigarette, I need to put this fucker out, or else it's going to set the fire alarms off, oh no, or whatever it is in... And fucking Filipino. And they're like, oh shit, fuck, what do I do with this fucking cigarette? And like, oh, bastard, you fucking bastard. Oh, tell you what, switch that fan on. Just get the smoke out this way. Switch that fan on. So you switch a fan on. And it blows all the smoke out the door. That's all that is. Somebody's just sparked up a cigarette that shouldn't be smoking. Like, oh shit, I said I was gonna quit. She's gonna fucking smell that. That's what it is. Should have been leaning out the window, mate. Or the rest is. Her curtains move on their own and a bright orb appears right before the electric fan turns itself off again. Mary says that earlier that day her camera caught even more unexplained footage. Peekaboo. I see if I see a face in there, I'm gonna shit myself. Oh, that is that that's creepy. That is effing scary. 
Oh, no, 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 no. I'm waiting for... Jesus, that was quite violent. Closet door swinging open and slamming shut on its own is creepy. Okay, that, that there is... Because opening something and just being like... Uh, with a string. Easy. Open it and then slamming it shut again. Not so easy. So that's, that's pretty convincing. What do you guys think? Creepy enough, but then slamming like, shut on its own is slams. creepy enough. But the footage is even scarier when you realize that a dark shadow slowly creeps its way towards the closet. Really? Now it's a little <gasps> hard to see. Oh at first, yeah, I see watch that. Closely as I add a little video enhancement. See, it enhances your video. It just gives it a little touch up, little fiddle with the video. Hey, right, let's hey, look at this. This is actually creepy. That a dark shadow slowly creeps its way towards the closet. Now it's a no, little I hard didn't to see that at first, but watch closely as I add a little video enhancement. No, that's that is convincing. That's pretty creepy. I'll give you that. Because of the sudden terrifying activity in her home, Mary says she thought long Mate. and hard about what could have possibly triggered the apparent haunting. There's only one recent event that she can think of that could be the cause of the sudden paranormal activity. Ouija board. It will be a Ouija board. I was fucking about with this big wooden board with numbers and letters on it. And I said hello. And it moved. So I chucked it out. You see. It'll be a fucking Ouija board. You see, earlier this month, Mary and her boyfriend were on their way home when they witnessed a terrible traffic accident. Oh, never Mary's mind. boyfriend <laughs> is an emergency medical responder and immediately oh. rushed to the victim who had severe critical injuries. Okay. Sadly, it was too late and the man didn't survive. It's Mary believes that the spirit of the victim just might have followed her home. Now, before why, this next clip, it should be noted. Why her? Why would it follow her home and not her boyfriend? Like, her man was the one that dealt with this situation because he's the emergency responder, right? She's a trainee nurse. Why would it latch to her? Unless there was something malevolent going on there. That Mary has shown the inside of her small closet in a previous video. Yeah. And there really isn't much room for anyone or anything. No, there's in not, there. nothing. You couldn't swing but a cat in there. Days later, when she checks her bedroom CCTV footage, what she finds is downright terrifying. Oh shit! <laughs> no, if there's a fucking face, I will, I will flip my shit. <laughs> there is no way anyone can fit in that closet, because. I reacted to this in, in a, on my Twitch channel. And she opened the closet and there is clothes piled in there. You couldn't fucking move in that damn thing. There's no way. Like if you, It's one of those closets that if you had a bit of clothing in there and you're like, oh, fuck sake, where is this? You would never find it. And then four years later it would turn up. That's the type of closet it is. Like, if Narnia was in this closet, it would have never been fucking found. Oh, fuck no. No, 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 no. Fuck no, no. Fucking Mr. Tumnus, get the fuck back in, mate. <laughs> no, you fucking creepy bastard. Look up the fucking top of this. Look at your fingers, man. Oh, look at your fingers. If, oh, look at your claws. Speed time seven. There's more. Oh, that's just the music. I thought there was something actually legit whispering in my ear. Oh, fucking chair. Oh, I don't care what's happening around the room. I'm staring at that fucking closet. Okay, orb. Okay, going towards the closet, pushing the chair in. Did you see it? Oh, pff, I couldn't fucking miss it. can be seen reaching out from inside of me. It's got fucking claws. It's like, oh, 
I've got no words. I really don't have any. Look at the fucking cut. Hold on, he's going to zoom in anyway. Look at the claws! I know you can't see my arrow. Mary's bedroom closet. No. And soon after, the stacks of no. chairs in front of her desk move on their own. Stacks of chairs. So just what do you think but, is happening in Mary's family home? Uh, nobody's found Narnia, but Narnia's found you. Narnia, part four. Mr. Tumnus' revenge. Half man, half goat. All murderer. Something still lives here. A paranormal investigation team from the YouTube channel RC Fun TV travels to an abandoned house. RC, RC, RC Fun TV. Okay, so RC Fun to me would mean ra like a radio car, like a an RC car. So that's why I'm assuming that this is probably based on RC Fun. Yay! How the fuck do you go from RC to paranormal? Please tell me that. That is the real question. House in Batambang, Cambodia. Locals claim Batam that in 1994 the Batambang, Cambodia. Batambang, Cambodia. Travels to an abandoned house in Batambang, Cambodia. Batambang, Cambodia. Okay. Locals claim that in 1994 the land used to be a graveyard for hundreds of deceased men, women, and children. Probably butchering Eventually, the land was sold and the owner had the, the cemetery name. excavated and the bodies burned to make room for his new family home. Shortly after the completion- Hold on, rewind, rewind, rewind. Give me a second. Hey, Batambang, Cambodia, when, what year? channel RC Fun TV travels to an abandoned house in Batambang, Cambodia. Yeah, we got that. Locals claim that in 1994 the land used to be a graveyard for hundreds. So 1994. Uh, Cambo wasn't Cambodia the the site of the Khmer Rouge? I was that Laos or was that Cambodia? I wanted. I want to say that's Cambodia, and the Khmer Rouge committed atrocities on their own people, and invaded parts of Laos and Vietnam, and executed their own people. Anyone that wore glasses was seen as being an intellectual, and therefore uh, too smart and should be killed. Uh, that's what they. That's their idea behind it. So you couldn't wear glasses, or else you would be executed on the spot. You couldn't do, uh, you couldn't be good at math, you couldn't be good at science, you couldn't, you know, you, they would just kill you. Uh, so they massacred, I don't know of how many people, hundreds, thousands, millions, uh, <clears throat> over the course of like a few decades, I think. Uh, I would need to look up my history again about it. I'm very it's scarce on my history of the Khmer Rouge, but it was a, a horrible atrocities. So the fact that this graveyard was there in 1994 some of these graves could be legit graves with people there like obviously with the bodies being burned some of them might just be unmarked graves as well from the Khmer Rouge because who knows but some of these people could have been executed by them so already that's malevolence right there but yeah if you don't know anything about that part of history it was after uh I want to say it was after the Vietnam War, uh, during the the late seventies, early eighties, the Khmer Rouge in Cambodia. It was a disgusting time. Uh, true atrocities happened, and it was kind of pushed aside. I think not many places in the West knew about what was happening in Cambodia. Uh, it's, like, if there was any legit reason to go in again to Vietnam, Cambodia and stuff to fight a war, it would have been against the Khmer Rouge uh, and save the people of Cambodia from the sheer atrocities that these people committed. Uh, but, again, look up uh, Khmer Rouge yourself and if there's anybody watching this from Cambodia or Vietnam, or Laos, or the surrounding areas, Thailand and stuff, you know, correct me, uh, let me know what, what's going on 
uh, like what happened and, and stuff because obviously you guys are going to know a lot more than I do uh, but it was it was horrible of deceased men women and children eventually the land was sold and the owner had the cemetery excavated and the bodies burned to make room for his new family home shortly after the completion of the yeah. house allegedly several members of the family were repeatedly pulled out of their beds by an invisible force Soon okay after, okay this will be interesting began to suffer from horrible unexplained diseases Fearing that they were cursed by the angry spirits of the former graveyard, they left the home and never returned. It the small might... wooden house has now been abandoned for over 10 years. Excuse me. It might not be the... A curse. It is cursed. It might be... The whatever they've tilled up. Like, if the bodies have been burned, fumigated, all that kind of stuff. So the bodies have been burned, the ground has been tilled. There could have been uh, some sort of chemical agent used to kill these people. And you've just released it by burning it or tilling the ground. And you put it back into the air and you've probably breathed it in or whatever. You know, like, probably wouldn't be arsenic, but arsenic was around and probably used. So it could be that. The Cambodian paranormal team prepares a ceremonial offering for the restless spirits that might be haunting the home. During the preparation, they are interrupted by something they can't explain. Okay, uh, pray much. I don't need you to be jumps from the end. Let's jump in the camera. Front of the house. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh my god, no! Did you. Did you... Please tell me somebody else saw that. Obviously, Nuke's going to say, did you see it? No. I've done the usual looking, 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 and my eyes gazed under the stairs. Obviously, the, the words are in the way, so you can't really see it, but when the camera, or the, the camera, when the light pans down, uh, the stair, like, right in front of you, so just above the word stairs, literally, there's a, there's a white face. Look. Like, right, right there. What the hell is that? Was that not it? But apparently, I seen something that wasn't it. Where? Where? Oh my god, what the hell was that? <laughs> the unexpected loud bang since the host of the RC Fun TV team Okay, that wasn't anything that I saw. Laughter, but they continue their exploration. Apparently what I saw was utter bullshit and there was nothing there. Forgive me. <laughs> Creeping myself out. <laughs> Shit. The team is a little reluctant to climb the rotting wood stairs of the house and instead head around to the back of the building and climb onto the roof. Yeah, that's right. Let's not climb up the rotting stairs. Let's go around the back and climb up some corrugated cardboard. cardboard. Corrugated cardboard, David, really? Corrugated iron or corrugated sheet metal and climb onto the rotting roof where we could plummet 10 feet rather than plummet 3 feet. Oh no, that's too dangerous. Too dangerous. What happens next is downright chilling. Did he fall through it? Where did you go through the fucking door? I'm looking at that fucking window. What the heck is going on there? Is that Star Wars? Something can be in that window. I knew it. What the? No! No! I'm done. No. <laughs> no. Fucking. No. Shut up, not my fucking green screen. No. Look at that face. No. No, I'm... 
why why the ghosts in South Asia always have these fucking white faces with the black eyes and the creepy yeah, see if that happened to me and I was on a fucking roof I'd be off there like a fucking rocket fucking broken neck and all don't give a shit I'm off get me out of there sack that <laughs> no Look, I know what you're going to say, did you see it? And then you're going to fucking zoom in and enhance the video so I can see it's wee beady fucking eyes. I don't want to see it's eyes. Oh, give me a second, I'll fix my fucking green screen. Hopefully that's okay. Oh. Also, what's with the yellow text in Cambodia? And what, what's that all about? Fucking Star Wars. No. Oh, fuck right off. You can see his ear. Hello. Yeah, you fucking peace. Are you okay? I don't give a... One of the team members comes face to face with a ghoulish pale apparition peeking out fuck of the no. window. Out of shock. I'd have punched it. I'd, I'd have been like, nah, middle of a pandemic. Best thing you you can do in those situations, bio, bio warfare. Spit on it, punch it, and jump for the roof. Fuck that. Seriously. Both team members forget their own safety and just yeah. jump right off the side of the roof. I'd, I'd, like I'd forget about my safety and forget about the fact that I'm wearing underwear and shorts and shit myself. Except for some scratches, bruises, and perhaps some deep psychological scars, the two men are Brown otherwise pants. okay. Now, cut to two months later, and the team returns, determined to explore inside the creepy house. During another ceremonial offering, they have no idea what their camera is capturing. Oh, he's gonna be up in the fucking corner. He's going to be chilling there, looking at it the whole time, just being like, Right, we get it. Two months ago, I scared you off the roof, and now I'm going to have to kick you down the stair. Why do you even attempt, like, you know there's something there. And it's peaked its wee fucking beady eye teed at you. Why? No. This whole video took a turn. It really did. I was like, this is going to be wholesome. This is going to be all right. The last one's not, you know, last one wasn't too bad. No, this. During another ceremonial oh. offering, they have no idea what their camera is capturing. No. Fuck off, no, 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 I told you, in the window, in the window. Did you see it? Yeah, I fucking saw it. The team is completely unaware that something seemed to walk by the window upstairs. No. After careful deliberation, the two men decide to climb the rotten stairs up to the house. Oh, fuck Once off, inside, no. Once inside, they see something absolutely horrifying. Oh, no, don't say that. Don't say that. Please tell me it's not going to be just standing there. Like, how you doing? What? In an incredibly bizarre turn, a disembodied head can be seen sitting on top of a wooden support beam. I the team's host records as he runs away in fright. I, I didn't see it. When the guys go back upstairs, there are no signs of the head. I, I saw fuck. I saw fuck. I just saw red shape. Bizarre turn, a disembodied head can be seen sitting on top of a wooden support beam. Oh yeah, I saw that. The team's that. host records as he runs away in fright. When the guys go back upstairs, there are no signs of the head. Nor are there any signs of anyone or anything having ever been there. So did the investigators capture the paranormal activity that drove away the home's owners? Or is it all drove just away? an elaborate hoax? You decide. Well, if that happened in my house, it wouldn't be driving away. It'd be fucking... I would be fucking out of there.
no chance. All that would be left is a fucking outline shape of me going through that fucking wall. I am not hanging about. He who hangeth about getteth hee-haw. You can watch this full two-part investigation fucking over on the YouTube ear. channel. RC Fun TV. That's, that's the worst one knock, so far. Knock. Over the course of a couple of months, a series of strange events begin to occur in several states in Malaysia. Again, with the South to Asia. That someone had knocked at their door very late at night, but when they went to answer, there was no one there. It's here for your car insurance. Your car's extended warranty. Abu. Rumors <laughs> spread throughout the countryside that the incidents were somehow related to the supernatural. And strangest of all, this odd occurrence wasn't just reported by one person, no? but multiple people across completely different states. Just a big statewide game of chaffy. Spanning a large section of the country. Fuck me, okay, that was quite violent. You button. Is that a glass door as well? That's a glass door. And there is nobody outside playing Jappy. Seriously. Oh, ding dong ditch, whatever the fuck you want to call it. What? There was nobody there. But you can see the car. And he's not shitting himself, he's just standing there. My arse would have collapsed by now. Like, seriously. It's still going. And he's just standing there. This guy, fucking Billy Big Boss here, is standing in front of a fucking glass window, a glass door, with something hitting the, the window, and you can't see what it is. And he's just chilling. There would be a big fucking lump in the back of my pants. Fuck that. How does this guy get out the, the fucking the door? And on the tiles there without scraping the tiles up and can't, you know, smashing a glass trying to get through with a big fucking br brass buzz of his. Fuck that. Seriously, what the hell's going on? Just now. At first, the story might just seem like an odd couple of videos, yeah. but no. These incidents were widely reported. In fact, the story got so much attention that it even made it into Malaysian print and TV news. But that's, this that's bizarre story of supposed ghosts knocking on doors in Malaysia took an even stranger turn just last month. Oh? You see, resident- I thought this was like, like, like maybe like a year or two ago. I didn't, I don't think it was like, only a month ago. Okay. Residents of the neighboring country of the Philippines recently started reporting very similar terrifying experiences. Oh, so now it's spread to the Philippines. Strange knocks on their door late at night. Seriously, what the fuck? Like, how can it go from Malaysia to the Philippines? And we get travelling ghosts? Are ghosts now going, ah, fuck this, and they start rattling on doors? Why did you shout? There was no need for that. You just woke everybody else up. That's legit somebody there though. <laughs> ok, 
Okay, okay, we got it. Oh, screw that. But this time, no. the late night knocks were blamed on a very different, but equally bizarre cause. No, with the hands and the key. To be honest, it could have been the same. I don't know. Eyewitnesses claim that the knocks were from gangs of dangerous cult members. What? Who go house to house with the intention of hurting anyone foolish enough to open the door. Fuck. Again, there were multiple reports around the province of Misamis Occidental in the Philippines. No. Videos circulated online of armed men roaming the streets looking for the cult members. But they never found anyone. And it gets even weirder. Because some eyewitnesses claim that these cult members had strange supernatural powers and could hey. actually disappear and reappear at will. What the fuck? Is that one of the cult members? Is that, is that a cult member? I don't see anyone. Oh shit, there he is. The reports were taken so serious. What the hell? Like, I can understand like cult members knocking on the doors and, you know, because it's happened before where cult members sneak into the house and kill someone. Like Charles Manson. But for him to just appear and disappear like that and then no one's ever been found. Are these, these things just going around the world and just knocking on doors? ...that the Philippine National Police conducted an extensive investigation. And rightly the so. the alleged dangerous cult members were never found. Likewise in Malaysia, no one ever found an explanation for the strange late night knocks. Well, if it was... Anything to do with the same fucking things. Fucking Billy Big Ball standing in front of the window. No wonder they were getting pissed and rattling that window because you can clearly see him. And he's just standing there going, and what are you going to do? You can't come in unless I let you in. Prick. But he's just standing there. On the doors. So, the question remains. Just what is going on in Southeast Asia with that these strange reports or something. of supernatural late night knocking? And are the incidents in That's Malaysia not right and the though. Philippines related? Maybe we'll just never know. Oh, well, hopefully they don't come Thanks knocking at my door. Follow me on Instagram here. Follow me on Twitter here. You know what and to then, do. Apparently there's also a TikTok. Well, huh. anyway, I'll see you next week. Thank you very much, Nick. Yes. Let me know down below what you thought of any of those videos. Let me know if you thought any of them were real. What well, ones really stood out to you as being real. Also, cult members? Like, did somebody, if anybody knows anyone from the Philippines or Malaysia, send them my video so that they can at least comment to say if this shit's true or if they had somebody knock on their window or door or whatever. Because that is fucked. That is next level fucked up. Oh, I wouldn't want that. Oh yeah, this is a this was a good one. This was a good one. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, give that a thumbs up. If you want to, you can hit that subscribe button. And if you already have hit the subscribe button, I thank you very much. But if you want to be notified of anything else I bring out in the future, don't forget you can press that bell icon. Dang it! As always, all my social media, all the links will be down below, along with a link for Nuke as well. Uh, and please let me know if you want to see any other uh, paranormal videos. If there's anybody you want me to react to. If there's anybody you watch, like religiously watch, that you want me to react, uh, react to, please let me know. Uh, I only know a couple of these uh, like channels. So I don't have a massive, like, backlog of videos that I can watch. But if you want to, you know, if you have a specific one that you want me to watch, just send me the link. Uh, 
anything like that. Also, if you want me uh, playing any games you want to see me play, just let me know down below in the comments. And uh, if you want to join in on any games or anything, then uh, I've got my Discord down below as well. So you can, you can hop onto my Discord and we'll all have a jolly good time. Yes. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.